Hey everybody, how's it going? Kyle here with a fun tutorial on how to get the Fix You organ sound. Before we begin, I just want to give a huge thank you to Joey Kurtz for sending me the organ samples and for helping me get everything up and running on my personal setup. This would not have been possible without any of his help, so a huge thank you to him. I should also mention that this isn't anything official and it's just a sample, but it sounds absolutely fantastic. Now obviously everyone's setup is going to differ as some of you might be on Mac, some might be on Windows, and everyone probably has a different DAW. But the overall process should be the same. I'm going to do my absolute best to explain the hardware and the software needed for this to work, as well as an overall guide on how to set this up. If you have any specific problems or issues, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to help out. Okay, so moving on to the hardware, you obviously need a digital piano and it has to have MIDI in and out port. However, we will only be making use of the MIDI out. Most keyboards should have this, so it shouldn't be an issue, but if yours does not, then unfortunately this isn't going to work for you. All right, the next thing you need is a computer. It doesn't matter if it's Mac, Windows, a desktop, a laptop, as long as you have some sort of computer, you should be able to get this up and running. The final thing you need is something not everyone may have, but it is more common nowadays, is an audio interface. Again, you want to just make sure that it has MIDI in and out ports on it. For example, something like the Scarlett Solo, great interface, uh, but it does not have MIDI built in. So you probably want something like the Scarlett 6i6, which does in fact have MIDI built in. I personally have the Behringer 404, which works great. Again, it doesn't really matter what interface you get as long as it has MIDI. Now there may be MIDI to USB cables out there that let you connect your piano directly to your computer, but I personally have no experience with them so I can't say how well they work, but that is something that you also can try. If you go the interface route, you will need a MIDI cable to communicate from the piano to the audio interface, and you will also need a USB cable from the interface to the computer. However, the interface should come with a cable, so you should be all set there. Okay, moving on to software, you're going to need some sort of DAW or digital audio workstation. I personally use Mixcraft 9, however, some other popular ones are Ableton, Pro Tools, FL Studio, Reaper, and of course, a ton more. Those are all paid programs, but you can do free trials if you want to test this out first. Uh, there are, of course, other ways you can obtain these programs. Now, I'm not going to condone piracy, but that option is there if you need it. Now, the most important software you'll need is Contact 6. This program is paid and at the time of recording this video is on sale from $400 USD down to $200. It's pretty expensive, but again, it's very critical in getting this sample to work. Uh, once again, I'm not going to condone piracy, but there are other options of obtaining this software. And the final thing you'll need is of course the samples themselves. I will leave a link in the description down below where you can download those. I will also have links to the basic hardware and software needed as well. Okay, now for an overview on how to hook everything up properly. Basically, you're going to have the MIDI cable going from the MIDI out on your piano to the MIDI in on your audio interface. From there, the interface USB should be plugged into your computer, and that's how everything is going to communicate back and forth with each other. Once everything is hooked up, all the software is installed, and you've downloaded the organ samples, you want to make sure you place them in a spot they're not going to move from. For this tutorial, I will place them on my desktop, but I recommend you place them in a folder within your DAW's main files. I will touch more on this in a minute, but you just want to make sure that you do not move them, as if you do, contact is not going to know where to find them anymore, and you'll have to research for them over and over again. Alright, once that folder is extracted, you'll see a few different files in here. Of course, we have the samples themselves for organ 1 and organ 2, and we have these NKI files which are played in contact. Alright, so once you have your organ samples extracted and placed in a spot they're not going to move from, we can go ahead and launch your DAW. So I have Mixcraft 9, I'm just going to launch a new project file for that. And now we will go over on how to set everything up within your DAW. Okay, here's where things are going to vary a little bit for everyone as it depends on what DAW you're using. However, every DAW should have all these settings. At this point, I'm going to go off script, so please forgive the drop in quality of my voiceover. So the first thing you want to do is tell your DAW where to find Contact 6. Just because you've installed that doesn't mean your DAW is going to know where to look for it. So within your DAW, you want to find the kind of main settings or the preferences for your, your DAW. So mine is just file preferences, and then within here we have an option called plugins. So you want to find where you're able to control your plugins and stuff like that. So once we're in there, you want to find the edit VST or the folders or the location where your DAW is going to be searching for different programs. So if I click this right here, you'll see I already have contact six, as well as a few other instruments down here as well. Uh, I have it in my documents folder. Again, I recommend placing it within your DAW's actual files. So for example, if I go to the file explorer here, we have this PC, my SSD, the program files, Acoustica Mixcraft 9, and then within here, I have a VST folder that Mixcraft 9 automatically installed. This is where the uh, different plugins that came with Mixcraft 9 are installed. So I, I really should move Contact 6 as well as Fix You 
the uh, organ samples in this folder. I'll do that at some point, but I recommend placing them in there once again so they're just out of the way. They're directly within uh, the directory that your, uh, your DAW is going to be searching in. But again, if you want to keep them somewhere else, that's fine. What you're going to have to do is just add a location. So if you just add, you know, documents, VSTs, contact six, you know, that's where you want, you want to do that. Again, if you place it within that directory, it should automatically find it. You're going to want to click auto scan or rescan some sort of option like that. Uh, but again, if you just add a folder, you want to add the location where contact six is actually located on your PC or your Mac. All right, now we're going to launch contact six within the DAW. So you want to find your virtual instrument tracks or you want to be able to add them. So for example, I have one open right here already, but maybe if you like right click insert track virtual instrument track, uh, basically just find a way to insert a virtual instrument track and then you want to be able to change that track. So we have an acoustic piano right here. I'm going to click this icon right here where I can change it to, you know, acoustic guitar, you know, pretty much any sort of virtual instrument you have already loaded within your DAW. Uh, so you want to come up here and search for contact. You may have to scroll on your list. It kind of depends where. But if contact isn't popping up for you, like it is for me, again, that might be because the previous step, you don't have uh, your DAW looking in the right spot for contact. So you just want to make sure you go back to that step and do that properly. Uh, once you've done that, you should be able to just click contact and it will open right up. So you can see here, you're going to have to kind of, uh, again, navigate where you've installed your FixU organ. I'm already on my desktop. Fix your organ right there. Once you click that folder, you should see the two NKI files. If we click Fix Your Organ 1, we'll double click there. This should pop up. So it's telling you, or it's trying to ask you where the files are because it's a different you know, computer. It doesn't know where they are for you. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to do browse for folder. And then you want to go where you've installed those organ samples once again. So you want to click the folder. We're going to click Organ 1 and then click OK. And that's going to load the organ right in. I'm going to do the same thing for organ two. So browse for folder. If you do browse for files, you're going to have to find, I think, each individual file. So do browse for folder. So fix you organ, organ two. Okay. So we have both organ samples loaded in. All right. So the next thing I recommend doing is saving your project file. That way you don't have to go through this process every single time. So I'm just going to go down here. Let's go to my documents or something like that. I'm going to save. Fix you organ. So I've saved the project file. So now if I close it, and then I come back up down to here, and I reopen it. Everything should load in within a second, and we see contact six is already open, as well as the fix you organ sample. All right, so everything should work here once it's set up. So I'm gonna come over to my keyboard. I'm just gonna play a chord or something real quick. So if we see here, you can see on Fix You Organ 1, we can see the levels right here rising. I also can see on my DAW, the MIDI in is lighting up. So I know that the signal is coming through properly. If you're not seeing any sort of signal coming through, either via the MIDI in or maybe the levels on your DAW or the levels on the Fix You Organ, if you're not seeing any sort of levels at all coming in, that means something's not hooked up properly somewhere along the line. So you just want to make sure the MIDI and the, the audio interface is hooked up and everything's reading properly. So if everything is hooked up properly and you're still not getting any sort of sound or any sort of uh, levels coming through, it could also be a MIDI channel issue. So you can mess around with changing the MIDI channels on here. You also can come over to your keyboard and you can try to mess with the actual MIDI channels that are going through the keyboard into your interface. I don't have much experience with that. Everything kind of just worked when I set this up, so hopefully it does for you. Uh, but again, you just want to try messing around with the different settings on your keyboard as well as uh, over here on the, like, the fixture organ, so MIDI channel A1, A2. Uh, just click this and just kind of mess around with these different channels and maybe something will click for you. Uh, again, your keyboard could be, you know, sending out for some reason MIDI channel 4 or a different note. Uh, again, I'm not really sure about that. Everything kind of just worked for me, but definitely check those settings as well. All right, so if you're seeing levels come through, but you're not hearing any audio, that could be a few different things. Uh, you just want to check your audio interface to see if it's going to maybe a different output instead of like the headphones output. Uh, you also want to check to see if there's any dials. For example, mine has an option where if I turn it all the way to the left, I will hear uh, just anything coming through my DAW through the audio interface. If I turn it all the way to the right, I will hear just my digital piano and I won't hear anything on my computer. So you want to make sure you have, you know, everything set up on there properly. Check your manuals and uh, just make sure everything is set up the right way. 
All right, so now I'm gonna go over on how to switch from organ sound one to organ sound two. So if I come over here to my Kawhi. Okay, that's organ sound one. If I go here, and again, this is gonna vary for, for different keyboards, but there should be an option, or hopefully there's an option on your keyboard to trigger a MIDI channel switch. So luckily for me, I just click this button right here and that triggers a switch to channel two. So for me, that I locked out there because I just I clicked that button by accident and it just happened to work. So you wanna check the settings on your piano to see maybe if there's a button that will switch to a different MIDI channel. You wanna check what MIDI channels those are actually going to. Because again, over here on contact, it, the default is just MIDI channel A1, MIDI channel A2. Maybe your keyboard is reading channel three or channel four. You know, So you just wanna mess with the settings on your keyboard or again, you can mess with the settings on here. So just MIDI channel and just change port A, port B. Just mess with these and maybe one of these will click for you and then you can save the project file. That way it just saves the default and then you can just click a switch on your piano and that will trigger the organ sound. I believe there are also MIDI pedals that you can plug into your keyboard that will trigger that switch for you as well. Uh, again, I don't really have any experience with those so I can't speak for how well they work, uh, but that's something you can also look into if you can't find any sort of switch on your keyboard. But I believe, once again, most keyboards should have some sort of option like that. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up for this tutorial. As mentioned before, links to everything will be in the description box down below, as well as my tutorials and cover of Fix You. And again, if you're having any issues at all, please leave a comment so myself and maybe some others can try to help you troubleshoot them so you can get this up and running. I again wanna give a huge thank you and shout out to Joey Kurtz for the samples and for helping me with this entire process. If you get this up and running, be sure to thank him. All right, that is it for me. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it and I will see you in the next one.